Hello, hello! Finally, here is my review of the LEGO Speed Champions 8 stud wide Lamborghini Urus STX and Huracan Super Trofeo Evo. One of them is an SUV for crying out loud. The other one is a supercar. Both of them kitted out. Lots of stickers here. Let's take a closer look. Now, I know that between these two vehicles, the Urus has far, far less viewer interest. So I will get through that one first and I'll try to get through it relatively quickly. Now the Urus is not Lamborghini's first SUV, but it is their latest and first in quite a long time. And it's sure to become the most successful, the best selling by a long shot. This STX version in particular is a racing focused one that they came up with to actually do their own spec racing series. So to bring SUVs into the true proper racing world for the very first time by just having a field of a bunch of the same thing essentially with different color schemes so this is a racing specific one that has extra uh, body kitting you know it's it's done up a little bit more fancy a little bit more racy than the basic so-called basic standard street one this lego build is eight studs wide approximately uh, plus some, you know, it's got the extended fenders, but then it also has the extended wheels beyond that. Now, there's no point in mincing words. I personally hate how the wheels and tires stick out from the body of this thing. I feel like everything else is actually done quite nicely. The build of this is involved, quite involved. There's a ton of building on the side, you know, studs on the side, construction. There are sub-assemblies that you do. It's interesting. There are a lot of small pieces and there's a lot of proper Lego sculpting involved. I feel like the back is done very nicely. The sides are good, but not great. The front is excellent. But again, those wheels and tires just mess everything up. As usual, the roof can be removed and that also brings with it the windscreen, large windscreen piece that is six studs wide. Inside you have space for two persons to be seated, two minifigures to be seated in the front. Got the center console with a single sticker right there. An offset steering wheel. Doesn't line up perfectly with the studs for where a person would sit. But you also have space for a third person to sit in the back. They do have to lean way back, but there is enough clearance. I tried it out, even though the roof doesn't have as much headroom in this space back here. Lastly, underneath, I wanted you to see that this is properly built up from the base. So there's no specialized chassis piece. You really build every single thing that you see here from mostly regular current pieces. The Huracan is also a racing spec vehicle, so it has extra aero bits on it. And of course, all of the racing livery that is attached to this one. Most of that is accomplished with stickers. Some of it is with just plain building with, with lines made from plates and tiles. And it does have a printed windscreen as well. With all the aero bits, including even a shark fin on the rear, this one almost looks more like a Veneno to me than a Huracan. And I personally don't mind that because I really like the look of both of them. I think they're both very worthy modern uh, Lamborghini designs. And the build for this was good and it was interesting. It took quite some time. There are a lot of small pieces involved. There's a lot of building in multiple directions once again including diagonally some sub-assemblies are attached to diagonally let's take a look at the sides in particular just look at the doors see they're slightly angled forward and they're actually hinged you can even see the hinge it's part way uh, exposed there on the side and when you first assemble those and you put them in it feels like you're putting in scissor doors only backwards and then you can't move them afterwards so it's kind of a nice suggestion that you could put working scissor doors on this. Uh, it would need quite a bit of reworking. I'm not sure if it's exactly 100% possible with the current proportions, but it was just cool. There are a lot of gaps in this, intentional ones, to represent inlets and heat extractor vents and such. And on the front, you can see some of the plate-wise or actually tile-wise construction for some of the gold in there. So. This includes gold tiles that are one by one with the square and also quarter round shape. And then also right there on the front is a single one by two. 
and the quarter round one by ones are also used for the side view mirror detail. Notice all the intentional deep gappiness here in the center for the extractors. This front assembly is fully hinged and it's not even locked into place, which is actually fine. I mean, it, it is in its downmost position, so it's easy to get it where it's supposed to be. I do recommend, as is usual for these Speed Champions sets, that you wait until you get most things assembled before you assemble or before you add the stickers so that you can try your best to get things aligned like I did here on the side. This one doesn't have too many things that need to be aligned, but it, it I think, uh, helps to be a little bit patient with that stuff so that you can do your best with what's available. The wing is done very nicely, a GT style wing. You can adjust the angle of that, of course, slightly if you want to. Probably looks best nearly horizontal there. And I really like what they did for the installation of the shark fin. This is a short helicopter, uh, the, the butter knife style helicopter blade there. You put a sticker on either side and it's mounted right down the center. That is pretty classy and you know it's it's a smooth surface beneath so you're not seeing different colors of parts you're not seeing studs down there yeah, it's just overall done pretty well this is intended to be in an, an, uh, an intake up here I think this probably could have been done without that single stud being exposed right there it's, might might be unnecessary this windscreen piece is fully printed up and the shaping of it is pretty perfect for pretty much any Lamborghini car that is and to get inside as usual I'm gonna remove that and there you see seating for two so you can put a driver in there you can put a passenger in there it's not particularly comfortable for either but they will go on either side you have that center console with switches and buttons and such and behind that does not look comfortable one bit unfortunately things get even worse when you put a figure in one of those seats i mean this Poor person has to be leaning forward a bit so as not to be banging their head against the back or not have the studs in the way behind them. The alignment is off once again, and their hands do need to be up like that. And even at that, with everything done to force them to fit, there's not quite enough headroom under there. So this is right on top of the person. I'm trying to squeeze them down in there, but there's a little bit of a ledge there because the windshield piece is not able to go down all the way. I think you can see it right there. So I can try to compress that and it just squeezes back because there simply isn't physically enough room. And it's such a strange thing that Lego would allow that. Lastly, looking at the underside, you see that this one is based off one of the specialized chassis pieces and that's a pretty large one that is new for 2020 and specifically designed to allow different wheelbases and different styles of Speed Champions builds, but it does not allow figures to be as low as physically possible, like some of the older specialized chassis pieces. You know, this actually has clearance where you can build onto it from the underside, rather than putting the figure floor at its lowest possible point. Here are both of this set's figures up close. They have identical torsos between the two, and each one has just a plain helmet with a clear visor on the front. One's black, one's white, but they're just the standard modern style. That's been around for quite some time. There's the printing on the back of the torsos, and that printing is pretty nice, especially for the logo itself, though it doesn't have the maximum amount of detail in there. But you can see that there's metallic printing beneath. So if you get the light to strike it just right, then it actually does look pretty good. And one of these has an alternate face. I'll let you see there standard expressions as well so really happy for him or just uh i, don't know, I guess satisfied and here's the best thing once again they've included hair pieces for the figures so they don't have to have helmets on and that is wonderful it's easy to do it's cheap for lego to include the extra one piece for each figure and just allows us you know allows us as fans to do so much more as far as posing them and setting them in you know different scenarios here's this set side build which is pretty significant in its size at least in its width it's designed to allow three cars side by side and it has lights for each in you know each of those columns in a row and it has this nice very simple little feature here to 
let the lights go green. So wait and go. You know, it's simple but effective. I like these pieces here, but ultimately this doesn't add a whole lot, but it's not bad as just an extra thing. Finally, here are the spare parts for the set, including one extra set of wheel covers. You don't get an extra set of wheel covers for the Urus because it uses extra large covers. Also, here are the two spent sticker sheets so you can get an idea of just how many are involved with these builds. It's a lot, and especially with the Huracan having so many little ones. Shall we talk about value? This set is $50 US 5-0, which to me actually at first glance kind of makes sense given that these Speed Champions cars are $20 each now that they are eight studs wide and significantly more detailed and involved of builds with significantly higher part counts than when they were $15 each. I pers personally feel like you get your money's worth at $20 per car, but this is $50, so that's $25 per car, but really it's $20 for the Huracan and 30 for the Urus and the starting gate. You know, the starting gate is really just a, a filler to bring it up to the uh, the desired piece count to somewhat match the, the budget that they put in there. And, you know, that, that Urus really is a lot more of a vehicle than the Huracan is, a lot more of a vehicle than a standard Speed Champions vehicle is, uh, even now. So I do feel like this is worth a heck of a lot more I mean, you just feel that it weighs so much more. You know, there's so much more stuff here and the, the bulk of it is so much more significant. So I understand that. Uh, what I don't understand though, is the UK price, which is just simply unfair. And the Eurozone price, which is apparently even worse, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, those, those are just unfair and they just don't make sense. I, I don't like those at all. I think $50 US is fine. Gives us a really nice price to part ratio, but you do have to consider that a lot of the pieces here are small. Tons and tons of one by twos, even a lot of one by ones, plates and tiles and such. Uh, so yeah, I think the US does okay. I wouldn't mind these being like uh, $5 less for the pair, you know? Beyond that, you know, anything else would be, would be a steal, I personally feel. What do I really feel about this whole set though? I actually like both vehicles, even though the Urus is an SUV and it's kind of, you know, sacrilegious to, to do that for a Lamborghini. Lamborghini did an SUV before, a really, really nice one. They've done more than one, actually, I think, but uh, they did a really nice one that has, you know, a lot of cult favor. And honestly, the new one is a pretty sick vehicle. I mean, it is a high performance vehicle. It is extremely capable. And I personally think it's styling is decent, but as a Lego model here, that wheel offset is just not good. It's really not good. They needed to bring that in by a half a stud on either side, you know, a total track width adjustment of one brick was needed here or is needed here. So somebody go do a custom rebuild of this thing. It's not as easy as it sounds, that's for sure. Or maybe just find a way to adapt some some narrow, you know, some skinny wheels and tires on there. Something, just something to improve that. Because I really think the build here is good, but those wheels sticking out just makes it toyish. Unnecessarily so when these were when these are already trying to move up market. You know, they're trying to be closer to scale models uh, with with the 2020 redesign of the entire the entire formula for doing Speed Champions vehicles. The Huracan, now that is nice. I liked it in pictures. Dare I say I like it even more in person. Yeah, especially having built the thing. The builds around the front and around the back with the little actual gold, you know, painted gold pieces are really nice. The centering of that shark fin is really nice. Uh, yeah, you just, you do a lot of work to put this together. I think that some of the gaps could have been improved a little bit. The holes for the hinges, for the slightly downward angled side panels could have been filled up easily. You know, they just could have used longer pins and then stuck some bars through there. I don't know why they did, did not do that, but I mean, overall still, this is 
a really cool build, something that I'm personally proud to have. Uses a lot of stickers, but frankly, kind of needs them to represent this vehicle with this livery. So I'm not even going to complain about that. I will complain, however, as I already have, about the lack of headroom for a figure. That's another thing that just does not make sense. It's a small thing. It's easy to ignore it if you're not looking for it, but still, I expect better from LEGO personally. So that's pretty much it for my thoughts on these. I've done a pure build, which is real time, you know, for both of these together, since it's all one set. And I also have the speed build, which is more of the, you know, traditional form with a little bit of musical accompaniment. So check out one of those if you'd like to, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you again soon.